going on y'all it's hellfire with machinemasters.com and today i just wanted to quickly go over the new midi keys feature and the new pad keys feature in mpc 1.7 basically what this allows you to do is uh simply play your keys and pads from your ascii keyboard or qwerty or you know whatever country you're in you might have a zerty um, basically your, your computer keyboard you can play your your keys and your pads so to set this up is really easy um, from the software you just go up to the tools menu right here and you first want to show MIDI keyboard and that's going to bring it up at the bottom and you can also activate this from the actual keyboard by pressing command shift W and that hides it or shows it now I have a, a, a VST loaded up sample tank 3 with a piano um, you can see when this pops up immediately you can click keys to play the uh, notes and when I try to play from the keyboard you know I don't get anything um, so basically all you have to do is just turn the uh, MIDI keys on so to do that you go back up into the tools menu and you want to select MIDI keys and you can see right away that uh, it gives you a little uh, representation of what the actual computer keys control alternatively you can press command W to turn this on and off and you can see that these turn on and off so once they're actually on you can see I can play from note A all the way to note E and I'll show you that so R and I are not going to be used because those are basically, you know, they, there's no key there, which would be here and uh, here. There's no black key there, so those two keys will not be used. So, pull up my VST here. You can see when I press keys, it's also represented in the VST keyboard. So you can go ahead and you can play some uh, quick little chords. And you can get things going just like that. So if you're on an airplane you know, or, or a bus or train or wherever, you don't need to have the actual MPC hardware, you know, to, to edit or, you know, sequence anything. You can just go right and just play whatever you want. When you first turn the MIDI keys on, it's going to default to middle C, as you can see here represented on the, uh, on the keyboard GUI. Now, I might not want to play middle C. You know, I might want to play uh, up an octave. So I would go to my close bracket key here. Just press that, and you'll see the keyboard transposes on screen. And I can just keep pressing that to go up higher and higher. And then the open bracket will go down the opposite way. So in the MIDI key, keys mode, there's no pad banks. There's only transpose. And it's going to go as high as the uh, uh, 88 key keyboard or as high as your uh, VST instrument, you know, uh, supports for the specific patch. Now, alternative to uh, MIDI keys, I can also turn this to pad keys. Um, to turn pad keys on, you can go to the tools, and it's gonna be this last option here, and when you turn this on, it's gonna turn MIDI keys off, because uh, you can only use one at a time. So when you turn on pad keys, it's going to basically play the on-screen pads instead of the, the keys. So you can see when I press Z, X, C, V, it's playing A1, A2, A3, A4. A through F is 5 through 8, and so on. So you have Z through V, A through F, Q through R, and one, two, three, four. 
Now with pad keys, you're not doing any transposition um, because you're playing the pad. So you're going to actually change banks. So while I'm on a VST, there's no um, notes this low um, on the pad bank. So I want to probably go up to uh, pad bank C, which is done by using these two brackets. Uh, close bracket goes up, open bracket goes down. So I'll go to C, pad bank C, and that's probably where my notes will start. Now, I probably wouldn't want to use pad keys for a VST. I would want to use these for um, drum samples. So I have some drums loaded up on the second track. I'll just jump to my second track. I'm going to go back to pad bank A. And you can see on A and B, I have some drum samples. So basically... I mean, it's that simple. Um, I can change my bank. And, uh, you know, once I have an idea, I can go ahead and I can, you know, actually, let me put this on a better tempo here. So once I have my idea sketched out in my head, I can go ahead and record a basic pattern. You know, and it's that simple, you know, to lay ideas down quickly, you know, while you're on the go. Then you can get back when you get to the studio, hook up your hardware and, uh, you know, make history. So um, if you got any questions, as usual, hit me up. I'll try to respond as I get time. Um, but in the meantime, go ahead, enjoy your software and uh, make some heat. Peace.